Hello everyone, welcome! Today we're going to be starting a brand new playthrough and that is going to be Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. This is going to be my first time experiencing Final Fantasy XII. I never played the original PS2, I've never played Zodiac Age. This is completely new to me so I'm really really excited for it. I want to say a really big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon who have been voting for this game for many months and we're finally playing it so thank you guys for being a part of that if anybody's new i want to welcome you to my channel i play these games stream them live on twitch and then i edit them down for youtube and you can also check out some of my other playthroughs of final fantasy i have six and nine seven remake crisis core final fantasy 16. i hope you guys are going to enjoy this playthrough thank you guys so much for being here let me know you're here watching in the comments and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to see this one. All right, let's get to it. Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Airship. Airships. Year 704, Kingdom of Dalma Dalmasca. Takashi Katano. Oh, there's the bunny people I've heard about. Oh, I love them already. I see some lizard dudes too. I see chocobos. of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Far on. Yoshitaka Amano. And little Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalbano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. It just got married. During a war. That's rough. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy. Ah! 
Yasumi Matsuno. Blessings of the Great Father descend. He died? Guide your bodies return to the earth. This game Great sucks. Father, guide your spirits return to the mother of all. There you shall find peace. Music, Father. Hitoshi Sakimoto. Let's go. Let's go. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Dalnaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, Terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Ravanasta. When the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. You there. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. 
He fights to defend his homeland. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, Rex got Rex. You stand? <clears throat> Albina Fortress, North Ward. Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Bosler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. Steady, Finding Rex. a peace treaty. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! Man, they just threw a lot of information at me. <laughs> a lot. So, I guess my... My question is... I guess my question is, um... So I saw the blue and the red on the map and then the, like, beige in between. And... Is it, like, two greater powers and one smaller power? Like, three separate... Entities? Yes, okay. And so the red side, the Ar Arcadians or whatever, um, took over part of the, the beige territory, the, Dal the Dalmasca, whatever. And, um, and then they were attacking the, the border into like Dalmasca, but then they said something about there was a treaty So, where does this... I guess I'll just keep playing. I guess that's all I need to know. <laughs> I guess that's all I need to know for now. Bosh, you must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the right stick to look around. It's a very useful way to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. Use the left stick to move, Rex. Tilt it slightly to walk. Okay, I don't think I need to read all this. You can walk, yes. Come stand before me. Hmm. You see the marker above my head? That's the talk. You can talk to any characters showing one of these. Press X. Approach the Dalmaskin by the gate and press X to talk to him. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we're back in Rabinostra. Rabinoster, or whatever. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. We'll enter the fortress through the gate. We must go. Go to the iron gate. See the marker above your head that's called an action. Once these appear, um, when you approach door, switch, item, or the like. Okay, to learn more about what you found, press closer and the icon will change, then press X. Try opening the gate. Iron gate. It is time. We will drive 
Back any Imperial standing between us and the King, Dalmasca's future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Rex. I will watch the rear guard. You can open the party menu by pressing triangle. In the party member menu, you can examine your equipment and inventory. How's the volume? That red line is a hostile target line. Take heed, you're being targeted. When a foe targets you, the line is red. When you target a foe, the line is blue. See a red line, look for foes at once. If they're not readily apparent, use the right stick to look around. When you've found them, press X to open the battle menu. Once you've selected an attack and targeted a foe, close distance using the left stick. You'll automatically attack until your foe is defeated. You can change target or actions at any time. If your HP falls, press X and select items from the battle menu, then use a potion. After using an item, you'll automatically resume your previous action. There's no need to input other commands again. You can do it, Rex. Show me. Okay, attack. Imperial Swordsman. So he'll automatically attack. And then I can use magic and stuff. White magic cure, black magic thunder, and items, potions and high potions. Okay, no, it's not necessary to do any of that right now though. All right. Captain?
there's no simple way through the fortress. The mini-map at the top right of your screen may not be enough to gain your bearings. Should you lose your way, consult your location map by clicking the touchpad. This will bring up the map of the fortress we gave you before we set out. If you find yourself at a loss, pressing the L3 button will allow you to view the location map as you move. Navigate your way through as you see fit. Okay. Ooh. Zoom. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Vosler! Where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosler's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex! Well, it's very, very dark. The, the atmosphere feels very, I don't know. Very subdued, very, it's very brown and gray so far. It's like the, uh, it, it just feels very suitable for, like, a war happening. It's like, you don't have time to appreciate bright colors and, and stuff like that. The world would turn so gray and, and, and brown and, like, just musky if you're in a war. I don't know if the whole game's gonna be like that, but <laughs> we'll see. Ahead we will face many Imperials, but we need not fight them all. Off times retreat is the wiser course. Should we the need to rise, press and hold R2 to run from your foes. There's no shame in fleeing from a battle that serves no purpose. He's casting fire. Okay, so what about this? What if I put my camera Okay. We'll adjust as we go. we kill him already or what oh good job guys i got a potion yeah it feels so grimy like everything's all rusted or something so the music is by whom again and what other soundtracks has has this person composed are they did they do final fantasy 10 yeah. itoshi sakimoto Ten was Uematsu. Um, Ten wasn't fully Uematsu. I don't think Uematsu had much part in Ten, did he? Whoa! Wait, did I want to come up here, or did I want to keep exploring down there? Looks like my goal is, uh, oh, you, you know what? I think I might have to go, I might have to go there. Hello. Oh no, where's my allies? Where 
Where's my uh, my friends? I ran off on my own. Bro, kill him. Thank you. Okay. Nice block. Shit, there's more. I'm going up. I don't think there was probably much else to explore over there. Hopefully not. This is a save crystal, Rex. You can save your progress by approaching a save crystal and pressing X. Touching one of these crystals will also fully restore your HP and MP. You'll gradually recover MP as you move about. It can take time. Do not miss this opportunity to refresh yourself and your allies. There's more I would tell you, but we've no time. Heed the lessons of the battlefield and you will do well. Come, we must reach his majesty before it's too late. Well, you know, if you would stop talking, we'd probably have reached your majesty by now. His majesty. Right? He did tactics ogre. He worked on 13 sentinels. Ooh. He, was he the sole writer, um, composer of 13 Sentinels? Okay. Well, I love 13 Sentinels. Okay, so I know him, I know him from 13 Sentinels. Nice. Love that soundtrack. Intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. I will? Fight well. Good luck, kid. See you in hell. I can take them. I just gotta use my thunder. I'm keep blocking. Damages the other guys I got stuck fighting downstairs. Nice. Okay, we better hurry up. They might need me up here. We just get stabbed? The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. 
His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... That is... Treason! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Damascus is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty, out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the Captain away. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Well, this guy really <laughs> fucked up, didn't he? Vaughn. Vaughn? Is that his little bro? Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. Thanks a lot, Bosh. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer, too, for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. What? Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason, and put to his death. Well, um... They who at this late hey, hour game, choose steal died. the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. I was like, oh, this is nice. We're starting with a wedding. It's so sweet. And then just... The husband died. The wife killed herself. The captain killed the king. The captain killed us. Or tried to. I mean, are we... Is Rex... Dead too? Vaughn! Oh, oh we're we're playing find us. I know, Shit. I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All right. Time to clean house. Oh, we're little brother Vaughn. What do we have? Technique steel. Ooh, we're like a thief class. Or something. We got a rat pelt. much we can do except attack and steal oh dang tragic tragedy stole its pelt while it's alive <laughs> just skin it right here and now Yeah. 
Watch your skin. Wow, Vaughn, you got them all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Royal City of Rabanastra. I wonder if some... Here's 706. Ha. Two years after the fall of Damascus. Okay, they just answered my question. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if some time has passed. So he is What'd you say? the age that Rex was when yes, Rex died. Sir, you haven't paid and I oh, oh, haven't so paid. So 17. Oh, 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 second time. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. But where you're going, Churl? What? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! What are these lizard things? Oh. They look so cool. And there's like a pig guy. What? Hmm. Hey, that's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. Nello? What do you think you're doing? That's an adorable I name. I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? That was a cool shot. One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Sky pirates? <sighs> well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Your location map often bears a mark showing your destination. Consult the map when you're unsure of where to go next. What could Miguelo want? Better go see him at his shop. World map has been added to the party mem menu. World, oops. Wait. How do I get to my, oh, right here it is. Equip. Dagger. Leather cap, leather clothing, no accessory. Oh, there's an optimize button. Cool. Okay, world map. Ooh, okay. Rabanastra. 
and Nalbina Fortress. Waterway. So Arcadia's up here, and then the other place is down to the south west. getting into trouble with the Imperials again, Vaughn? Well, try and be careful, if not for your own sake, then for Miguelo and Pinello, okay? Okay, so we are here. Back here, there's not much. We're gonna explore the town quite thoroughly. Uh, what is going on here? I should probably make myself scarce right about now. Yeah, we don't want to get into it with any Imperials. Look at this guy. Like his little ear flap things. I don't know what those are, but I like them. Talk to Lonely Boy. Do I want the map right there? It's kind of annoying right now. There's sure a lot of Imperials out today. They think they're so great, but I hate them. Okay. Hello. Hey, mister, you want to hear about the history of Ravanastra? It won't cost you much. What? I gotta eat too, you know? One gill ought to do it. Okay, you're on. Okay, so two years back, Ravanastra lost the war with the Empire. That's when all the guards came and made us live under the city. The Empire is one person who runs the city and everything. He's called a consul. The new consul's coming today. That's why there's so many guards. Kind of sort. Kind of short, huh? Don't worry. I'll try to find some new things to add for next time. Okay, there's gonna be a new console coming today. You can cut the tension with a knife out here on the street today. Guards at every corner. I can hardly stand it. If anyone asks, I said nothing. Nothing. Understood? Your secret's safe with me, Missy. You can... That's the same Missy, sorry. That Miguelo's made quite a name for himself. What with the sundries shop of his and all, there's one Banga a fella could take after. Banga? I was just down at Miguelo's sundries. That Miguelo's coming and going, so I'm half afraid he's gonna wear the door off its hinges. Wistful Banga. Oh, Miguel is a Banga? Only been two years since the Princess Ash took her own life, but it seems like Ravanastra's been in the Empire forever. Uh, not that I'm complaining, Mr. Imperial Guard. Next father. They've closed all the stairs to Low Town. Can you believe that? I don't care how important today is. This is absurd. No traffic in or out of Lowtown until the Lord Consul's assumed his post. No exceptions. It's sweltering, even here in the shade. Maybe I'll head up to the sand sea and get something to drink. Sit back now. I haven't finished interrogating these two yet. What are you interrogating them about? Huh? Okay, so... We need to go this way to see what's his name. Let's explore the other side first then. Before we see Miguelo, let's see what uh, everything's all about. Here's a magic place. I should really go see Miguelo first. Never fucking mind. We're going to see Miguelo. That's what I wanted to do anyways. That's totally what I was planning on doing. Miguelo? Fetting the new console? Miguelo this, Miguelo that. It's all I ever hear these days. Well, you know, he's a stand-up guy. All right, we're gonna go straight to Miguelo. I don't want the game to yell at me again. I'm not gonna be listening to this bullshit. There's a nervous energy running around the 
uh, through the whole city today. With the new console coming, I suppose it's to be expected. Everyone seems busy today. You, Kites, Pinello, me? Don't worry, I've got my own work to keep me busy. <laughs> Bucko. I'm gonna be so rich that I know I'll be rich enough to buy an airship. You can ride it anytime you want, Van. Vaughn, whatever. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier in the morning. Uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I have no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Bah. Ah. I can't leave my shop and dive Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. <laughs> what do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. He sounds like he's got a cold. Came to the East End to do some shopping, but there are so many shops, I don't know where to begin. Miguelo's Sundries. Can I go in? Ooh, I can. Whoa, man, this place is hopping. Hopping, whatever. Hmm, I don't know if it's because of the console or not, but things are just a little too on edge around here for my liking. If he thinks tightening his grip on the city will help, he's got another thing coming. People will only resent him the more. Yeah, but does he care if people resent him? I don't know. Always have more of a thing on hand than you plan to use. That's my philosophy. Better than running out of something, better than running out of something when you really need it. That's a good philosophy. Always provide for a supply of res restoratives before starting a journey abroad. A potion's ability to instantly rejuvenate health is priceless. I was hoping to come across a bargain or two in honor of the new console's arrival, but no such luck. Oh, that's... Sorry. Jesus, why is there so much dialogue? All right, let me, let me read it. Fuck. Well, I have you found kites yet? Ah, I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of you. I'm grateful for, for your help. You work hard when you want to, but lately you don't seem to want to, do you? Blah, blah. What? What was it that sent me off complaining? Ah, yes. Kites. Go find kites. He should be at the sand sea. Hurry now. Time's a wasting. Shop clerk. Look at this little guy up in the back. What's this little thing with the ears and the pom pom? Welcome to Miguelo's Sundries. Okay, so you sell arrows, onion arrows, and onion shot, and eye drops and potions. Remove blind from one ally. 50 gill, I'm assuming. Well, I can't really afford anything. Ooh, a dagger, but I already have one, it looks like. Leather cap, I have, oh, and I have. Rat pelt, ooh, could I sell? Oh, I could sell the rat pelts. They're suited for a variety of uses, but fetch a low price due to their ready availability. Yay! I have money now. 200. Not much. Okay. Bye! Bye!
weaponry. Don't mind me, boy. Just inspecting the weapons. Have to be sure nothing inappropriate is making its way to the average citizen, am I right? Sure, we call them all monsters, but not all are created equal. Plenty to keep their business if you keep to yours. Because if you go picking a fight, don't be surprised if they fight back. Look at the pom-pom! What are these little mice things? They're cute. Can I have one? So many weapons, so little gill. What about all those pelts and fangs from the monsters? You oh, why is Moogle? That's a Moogle? Why they got ears like that? Pish! What about all those pelts and fangs from the monsters you killed? You know, the loot, Kupo. That's worth plenty of gill. I know, I know, but it seems such a waste to just sell it all. Nonsense! You're only making things harder for yourself, Kupo. Why line your purse with loot when you could line it with gill instead? But there's more to it than that. The more loot you sell, the more bizarre goods you're likely to come across. Bizarre goods can be anything from sets of items at discounted prices to rare pieces of equipment you won't see anywhere else, Kupo. Oh, that's good info. Okay, so... Loot, like... That kind of... Loot doesn't have probably much use except for just selling. So don't hold on to it thinking maybe I might need it someday. Maybe. I don't know. Some weapons are good for range. Some strike quickly. Find a weapon that suits your needs and stick to that. All right, what do you got? What do you have? Broadsword. Ooh, 390. Tetsu. So... Sword license for this guy, which is what we have probably as Vol, I think. Kotetsu for a katana license, a spear license, pole license, bow license, gun license, axe and hammers license, dagger. Oh no, we do daggers. That's right. We have a dagger license. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll have eight characters in our party. Who knows? I don't know. We will find out. It is a time of discovery. Got to have proper protection before striking out looking for adventure. Be sure to pick armor that's right for you. That means finding a PC of the license to equip. Having armor you can't wear is no better than having no armor at all. I'm hoping the new console can really make things better in Robinastra. I'm ready to put war and suffering behind me. I, as we all are. A woman asked me for some advice on choosing the right piece of armor. Thought I'd give her the lecture. Can I have the lecture? All right, so as far as armor goes, headgear. So light armor, mystic armor, heavy armor, shields, light armor. So we wear light armor, Val does. Light mystic shields shield license okay so we could buy we could buy a chromed leathers but i'm gonna wait because we might pick i don't know i'm just gonna see we might pick something up on the field or something
Things certainly are bustling over at Mc, uh, Miguelos. I hear he's in charge of preparations for the console's fet. Fet? Feet? What is that word? What does that mean? A feast? I'm guessing, like a dinner? As I understand it, walking round can restore some magical energies, but I can't for the life of me understand why magics is a fickle mistress. That she is. Fancy meal? Okay. A boba feet? <laughs> a boba fete? If you plan to dabble in magic, you'll need to be wary of elementals. You, they won't normally bother you, but they're sensitive to magics. Elementals? When they sense the working of magics nearby, they react by attacking the caster with magics of their own, and they're frightfully powerful. Oh, that doesn't sound good. You agree. All again soon. Okay, I'll be back. Bye, George. I'll be back. Vaughn, how you doing? Lots of people out today. Thought I might try to take, uh, try out some of those tricks you showed me. <laughs> Happy pickpocketing. This is techniques or technics. Magics and techniques. When it comes to techniques, no adventurer worth his salt would leave home without Libra. If you plan on fighting monsters, it's a must. Libra lets you see how tough your foe is before you fight, so you can decide if you're an even match. It'll also show you a foe's weaknesses. But it won't work on every monster out there. Particularly, difficult foes are immune to Libra. And there is another secret as well. Of course, I won't tell you because it's a secret. Techniques are skills that let you do things no magics can. Stealing treasures from your foes, staunching wounds, you should give him a try. Sent a word of advice from an old... Oh, want a word of advice from an old adventurer boy? Don't squander your gill on techniques you've not got the license to use yet. Best to earn your licenses out fighting first. Then come buy what you need. Oh, we can get more licenses than what we already have. So we can use more than one weapon type, I'm guessing. Mm, the other secret? Well, all right. I'll let you in on it, but don't go spreading it around, okay? Libra is great, but there is some information you can only see without Libra. When you target a foe without using Libra, its name will appear red, yellow, or blue. The color tells you how strong your opponent is. Those whose names are red are very powerful. Yellow will put up a fight, and blue should be uh, make easy prey. Good to know. Good to know. I'm really looking forward to the parade for the new console. If they're going to all this trouble, he must really be someone important. Still on your way around the battlefield? You can help to set goals yourself. Stay going from hunting rats to wolves. And if you really want to set your sights high, you should pay a visit to the notice board over in the sand sea. All right, what you got? A baton. This is my technic shop. But apparently... You don't have anything ready for me, huh? You got nothing? Come back in a while. Oh, man. I want to see what kind of techniques and magics I can learn. Is this a pub? There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. The what is, is that, that thing? Tomato. Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. We've got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. 
That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. So, here's how it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Head hunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monster you're hunting is called your mark. Here's the bill I posted for the rogue tomato. The mark I petitioned to have hunted. Do you want to hear all the details? Tell me. Everything. Let's start with accepting hunts. You can't just take a look at the board, then go running off to hunt the mark. You'll miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill, the petitioner, first. Let him know you're going on the hunt. So, take the rogue tomato bill, for example. I posted it, so I'm the petitioner. You have to come talk to me. Let's call that step done, okay? Once your agreement's in place, the petitioner will tell you how to find the mark. Then you hunt it, report back, and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. Yay. Yay. Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to commemorate your first hunt. I got an Orachia Ura 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 armlet. Hmm, looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for it. Noob. Think of licenses as mileposts, marking your progress as you your combat skills improve. Swords, bows, black magics, white magics. None of it does you a lick of good until you have the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. Come on, how can I equip the this great treasure you bestowed on me, you ask? Easy. Learn by doing. Let's give it a try. I'd say you're ready to hunt for that mark for me. Oh, you'll be needing this to leave the city. Just show it to the watch at the gate. Oh. What? What, what do you mean? It's plugged in. Plugged in. Hello? Writ of Transit. The East Gate's the ones you'll want to head out. Once you've taken care of that mark for me, let me know. Your work won't go unrewarded. Rogue Tomato, the hunt begins! I like hunting things. Try equipping the Arachia armlet. Use the licenses command in the party member to obtain the accessories one license, then use the equip command to equip it. Once you've chosen a license board, you won't be able to change it right away, so choose wisely. You'll be able to change boards later in the game. Okay. So... Licenses. Learn the licenses that support your play. Create your own unique party. Vaughn. You must choose a license board in order to obtain licenses. There are 12 boards, each allowing you to develop a character with unique abilities. Once you can enter the clan hall, you can change boards there. Okay. Preview. <gasps> Accessories 1, Orachia Armlet, Mystic Armor, and White Magic. Okay. Shikari. Okay, so mages who wield healing and magic, healing and support magics. Warriors who fight nimbly across hill and dale. Daggers. First aid. Heal a critical ally. Daggers, first aid, martyr, accessories. So I, I'm guessing accessories is going to be under any job class here. Okay, so we could... It seems like he's kind of already... That? Jakari. Daggers. Swords, masters who devote themselves body and soul to their lords. Katana, sight unseeing. Use the mind's eye to strike. Black Mage. Well, we know what that is. Elemental Forces. Fire, Silence, etc. Archer. Rain death on their foes from afar. Poach. Capture foes for loot. Bowbreaker. Warriors who use 
Almighty weapons to tear their foes, axes and hammers. Technics, Technics wither, reduce enemy attack power. Time battle mage. Battle mages who wield crossbows and bend time to their will. Magic's time, reflect haste, etc. Monk, warriors who temper their bodies into deadly weapons. Unarmed and poles. Technic Achilles, inflict elemental weakness. Shit, there's so many. There's still five, like four more. Knight, stalwart warriors who wield sword and shield. Soul eater, sacrifice HP to deal damage. Red battle mage. Battle mage is equally skilled with maces and magics. Weapons, maces, magics, arcane, or white, limited, black, limited. Maces and magic. Machinist or mach machinist? Machinist? Warriors who snipe their foes with deadly precision. The guns. Charm. Temporarily and convert foe to friend. Mullen? Ulan? U Mulan? Warriors who wield spears to pierce enemy armor. Techniques revive. Sacrifice HP to revive allies. Whoa. Okay. So we're going to just do Shikari for now. Yay. Okay. View board. All right. So I have six LP. So let's do our accessories. How do I? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Do I already wait what? Do I already have it? Accessory. Nope, I didn't get my license. Okay, hold on. Figure this out. Oh. Why didn't it work before when I pushed it? Okay. I figured it out. I was pushing X and maybe it was I don't know. Yay! Slightly raises max HP. All right, let's go on the hunt. Wait, what else did I get? Clan primer. Hunts. Red and rotten in the desert. Hunt accepted. Bestiary. Dire rat. Ooh, bestiaries are so fun, aren't they? Oh yes. I love reading this kind of stuff. I won't read it right now, though. As you travel... Ivalis? The Sky Pirates den will slowly fill with tokens commemorating various milestones and feats of skill. Discovering how to unlock them is up to you. Traveler's tips. Oh. Okie dokie. Seems cool. You might have been previewing the job board rather than viewing the actual board. Oh, gotcha. In the original, everyone shared the same license grid and it was just a massive block of every ability and equipment in the game. It was a goddamn mess. That does sound a messy. Okay, let's talk to people. I hear there's a mark out in Esther Sand. Of course, the Imperials are too busy securing the city to worry over troubles beyond her walls. How are you, Vaughn? That creature in the desert has us chasing after supplies from dawn till dusk. Someone better do something and quick. Um, nope. I'm good. Thank you, Tomaj. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Oh, shit. I was trying to talk to this lovely gentleman next to you. A parade to install the new console? Fie! They're just looking for an excuse to flaunt their might. Well, let the fools strut, I say. I heard you could still leave the city through the east gate, but when I tried to pass, I was turned away. It turns out they're only letting through people on business for the fete. Would it kill them to bend the rules? I hope they didn't hear that. I'm sorry, but the balcony is reserved for members of the Imperial Watch. Or so they've decided, at least. There's nothing more than two-bit swords, if you ask me. Who gave you the leave to come up here, boy? The balcony is reserved for the Imperial Watch, you hear? Well, fine, then. I'm gonna go out and do the job you should be doing. While you're 
hanging out at the tavern. Okay, so... We need to go to over there. To Low Town. Yeah, we can't go to Low Town. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Do, 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 do. I made it in from the e Esterlin Ester Sand just before they closed the gates, but my friend was stopped before he, before he get through. Could he, you take him something for me? Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. You should find him just outside the east gate. A banga, like myself. And don't go selling that pocket... That to... Pocket the gill for yourself, you hear? I obtained a small package. Not long before the consul's appointment ceremony begins, the south and west gates have been closed as part of the heightened watch. I wonder what this console's gonna be like. The gate's already closed. I bloody hate dealing with crowds. Boo hoo. You always talk to strangers this way? Best learn to mind your place, churl. Yes, I do always talk to strangers this way, actually. As a matter of fact. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the, uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed. Miguelo. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this. I gotta go get me a tomato. Jeez. Is, are these all the people trying to get in? Your eyes not working, boy? You want to pass? You queue up with the rest. Any arguments? Speak to the guard at the back of the queue. Once the gate closes, they'll not be letting anyone through. No exemptions. I'm getting in while the getting's good. You trying to push in? Best be rethinking that move, mate. You want inside? You get in line behind me, understand? Not many more people coming along now. Once we get this lot taken care of, that should just about do it, I'd say. What about you? Looking to get inside? No, not right now. Your eyes not working? Oh. Oh. They're inspecting everyone before letting people through. You're gonna have to stand in line if you want in. Not that the line is moving. The inspection line's Growing a good deal shorter, and hardly anyone's leaving the city now. I imagine these people will be the last through. I suppose I should be heading in myself. Wouldn't want to be shut out here, would it? No, same point. Yes. 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 I want to save my file. Are you the banger? Bang, banga? Whatever. <laughs> my companion and I arrived together, but they singled out my goods for inspection. I've been held up here all day. You came from the city, yes? Did a banga merchant happen to give you an item to deliver? Why, yes. Well, what do you know? My thanks, boy. Helped me out of a tight spot you have. Heading into the desert, are you? Best watch yourself out there. Get into any fights? Just be sure to keep well healed, you hear me? Mind your wounds or the next blow you take could be your last. Had myself caught by the tail of a time or two out there, let me tell ya. Gonna pass through the gates till they finish going over my belongings. Risk half a life and limb crossing the desert to be treated like this? Bah! On your way out to the city, are ya? 
there's a tomato beastie running a muck on a bluff close by. Don't you get just don't get yourself into near bother, do you hear? <laughs> tomato. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how they would say it. They've closed the chocobo stables for the day on account of the consul's arrival. Speaking of which, shouldn't the ceremony be starting soon? I wonder if we can still get back in the city or have they closed the gates? I had no idea they'd be closing the gates. I was worried we may not make it into the city, but it looks like we've arrived just in time. Okay. I got a tomato to fight. Let's go. Oh my god! On second thought, I'm not sure my little dagger is gonna do very much good against the fucking Tyrannosaurus rats! <sighs> okay. Adventure time! Pack tight. Get it while it's sleeping. While it's, while it's sleeping, get it while it's sleeping. Hello? Oh, there we go. Mm -mm. Yeah. fruit Open up the bizarre items. Treasure. Oh, I should be looking out for these pots then, huh? off the off of them before <gasps> is that the tomato tomato looks like a tomato rogue tomato i stole a pebble Chase, huh? Okay. I'll get ya. You little squirt. Whoa, 
Those teeth came out for a second. Rogue tomato vanquished. We got the tomato. Galbana lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. You obtain a handful of Galbana lilies. on I don't think so no I don't think so yeah we're just gonna steer clear of that time, you know? I think I actually quite like living. When is the toggle speed up? Perfect. Perfect. It does not do anything. Oh, L2. the only one who got locked out of the city. I told Pinello about the mark you're going after and I guess I got her worrying, so the two of us headed out there, out here to find you. As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gates and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. Oh no. Is she out there with the T-Rex? Well, the ceremony is over, do you hear? I'm sorry. <sighs> now what? Huh? Open the gate! Ain't All nobody right, riding that chocobo. Way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside! Ugh. Right then, move them in. Oh. Oh no, my Galbana lilies. 
That does it. Ho oh, ho ho, a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Here's our girl. Yes, yes, different style meets different bouquet, too. Take a Damascan Barose wine, eh? It may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but it has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. The males choked with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I best be hurrying. Okay, well. <sighs> Vaughn, wait! What is it? Vaughn! I gotta get my prize for my tomato. Is that the console? We will have order. I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm... Your Excellency. People of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire! Spit on your empire. There was little point in asking. <laughs> but know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people. Strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you. Protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end. Yet still its shadow looms over all. Stifling the infant peace, appall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. Wow, they liked that. But can we trust his words? Is the question. Is Rabanaster to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. 
Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. Oh, remember the last one? They're all like this. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. I am the gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. <laughs> the people of Robin Master, join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I... I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Rabanasta. Why don't you call me vain? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. <laughs> How can he stand about to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well... I'd do something. Vaughn. Vaughn! You haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabanaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Yup. Hey, Penel. That fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Low Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do, the first thing you'd buy is an airship. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, hail Vaughn, Sky Pirate of Damasca. Then we it's can fly nice on out of here. Stay out of trouble. Hmm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Magello. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. Hello, town. What's going on here? What are these guys doing? You're now free to enter Low Town and leave Robinoster. Okie dokie. 